When I tested the Qualcomm reference device against the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the iPhone 1, however, our hopes were that consumer devices with the Snapdragon 865 would do better than Qualcomm's reference design. Now we've got the Galaxy S20 Plus, which has got the Snapdragon 865. Will our aspirations come true or will our dreams die in a flaming mess? Well, let's find out. So we've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the left hand side and this is a version running the latest version of iOS, iOS 13.3.1 and so this is a new recording of the iPhone to see whether the software has made any difference on the right hand side with the Galaxy S20 Plus with the Snapdragon 865 and as I'm saying that's looking pretty much neck and neck, the Jason test going first there on the Galaxy S20 Plus and we're into the compression test looking neck and neck again, this could be a really interesting race as we go down to the line really if these two are going to be matched so equally all the way along this test run like this we're now into the 16th thread test which one of these blue bars is going to get to the other side first I would say or oh, a slight slight lead by the Galaxy S20 Pro Plus but this could all change at any moment there we go it's got to the end so it's the first into the blur test as we're now going into the blur test the beginning of the CPU GPU part of the test and then of course after that we have the unity test for the 3D part in a moment we have the smoke, smoke particle test but at the moment we're into the infinite scrolling list and I think there we go smoke particle test coming up first for the iPhone 11 Pro Max so that's a good sign there 30 frames a second 27 26 25 frames on the right hand side so that's definitely a win there by the 11 Pro Max as it's now into unity test and it's ahead definitely ahead of the Galaxy S20 Plus it's going to turn right look how smooth that's going to the end of the valley there it is what is it 1 minute 14.5 as the Galaxy S20 Plus comes to the end of the valley there we go 1 minute 19.0 Okay, let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened. So there we have it, the iPhone 11 Pro Max 1, 1 minute 14.5, and 4.5 seconds later in came the Galaxy S20 Plus with 1 minute 19. When we look at the CPU, you can actually see a win there by the Galaxy S20 Plus, 39.5 for the iPhone versus 38.1, that's a 1.4 second lead for the uh, S20 Plus. But then when we get into the mixed CPU, GPU part of the test, we saw there the smoke particle test, things go the other way around. The iPhone 11 did so well, there 20.5 versus 24.3 and then when we get to the cpu this really was the clincher 14.5 for the iphone 11 pro max and 16.4 for the galaxy s20 plus so overall when you add them all up that's a win for the iphone 11 pro max one minute 14.5 my name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I've also received the Red Magic 5G, which has also got the Snapdragon 865 in it. It's got active cooling. In due time, I'll get around to making a video about that after I've finished the review. So if you wanna see that, then do subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.